Welcome to Lovers of Jesus Ministries International. The message you are about to hear is from the Lord's anointed Dr. Edward Irobi, the man with the mandate to proclaim the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and to raise an army for the Lord in this end time. Beloved, uh, good evening. You are welcome to our online Bible study today. I know that the Lord is going to meet you where you are. The Lord is going to meet me where I am today. And uh, the Lord is going to make his face to shine upon you, shine upon me, and give all of us peace. Are you ready to continue the study on the Holy Spirit? I am ready. Shall we pray? Our heavenly glorious Father, hallowed be your holy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in our lives as it is in heaven. Our Father, our God, we pray that you speak to us. Wondrous things out of your word in the name of Jesus. Father, change our lives through the power that is in your world and help us to be what you want us to be. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen and amen. Beloved brothers and sisters, this evening, once again, I want to welcome you to our Bible study. Remember what we have been enjoying since the beginning of this month. We have been enjoying the topic that says, Who is the Holy Spirit? Who is the Holy Spirit? So, and uh, during the first week, we uh, explored um, the, uh, uh, um, the description of the Holy Spirit. We described the person of the Holy Spirit. And the Lord blessed us enormously. And last week, you remember what we studied last week? We started um, exploring some of the works of the Holy Spirit. So, and I promised all of us that this week we are going to continue with the works of the Holy Spirit. So, that is um, part of our discussion today. The uh, other part of that um, um, subtopic, the works of the Holy Spirit. But I want to give it um, a special title so that you can appreciate where the Lord is taking us to. Because today's message, today's study, no matter how concise, no matter how short or whatever it's going to be, I am so excited to share it with you. Do you know why? I am so excited to share it with you because this is what I call one of the sure promises of God. And uh, this, prom uh, this promise of the Lord is made possible through the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And uh, any believer who does not walk in the Spirit of the Lord may lose out. And that's why the Lord wants to bring this thing across our paths today for us to appreciate some of the works or duties of the Holy Spirit in the life of a believer. So I know some of you will be saying, oh, brother, it will tell us, tell us what is the, uh, um, what's the title you have to coin out from the works of the Holy Spirit. Let's go. So today we are going to look into what I called restrainer seal. Mm-hmm restrainer seal did you get that <laughs> restrainer's seal you know the words to restrain to prevent mm -hmm. so i want to give you a heads up before we go into the scriptures and then you follow alongside uh, our discussion when we talk about to restrain. In another way, you can put it in this way, to make sure that something does not happen, to prevent, to stop. So, now, having presented it in that manner, you may ask me a question. Hey, what does restrainer seal mean? 
Remember, we are talking about the blessed spirit of the Lord. He is the one we are talking about today. So I want you to understand ahead of time, this is a summary that the spirit of the most high God, the Holy Ghost, places restrainer seal on believers. Did you get that? If you have gotten that in your heart, you are almost through 80% of this study. Mm -hmm. The Spirit of God places restrainer seal. And this seal makes you untouchable. Oh, I don't know whether anybody heard my voice. This restrainer seal of the Holy Ghost makes you an untouchable believer. Very, very important. I hope you are following me because somebody is going to be blessed today. The Lord is going to give you an eye opener. Some of you are conversant with this, but today some of you are going to see this information from a different perspective. Restrain a seal. <laughs> when you are a child of God, our Heavenly Father places restrainer seal on you. I want you to take time to process all this. Our Heavenly Father places restrainer seal that makes you untouchable by the forces of darkness, that makes evil to move very far away from you, that makes when witches and wizards, spirit of darkness and their agents see you, they will move away. No wizard, no witch, no sorcerer, no agent of darkness will like to pass on the same way with you because you are having the restrainer seal on you. This is what the Holy Ghost does among other duties of the Holy Ghost, he places this on believers. And I want to let you know, this is something that the Lord has helped me to know ahead of time. I'm giving this overview that we have to guard jealously the restrainer seal that the Holy Ghost places on us. We have to guard jealously the restrainer seal that the Holy Ghost places on us. Because if we live carelessly, we can make the seal of the Holy Ghost to be removed. You see, remember when we were talking about um, live not by lies of the devil, we appreciated the fact that a believer who is careless may lose the grace of God upon his life. A believer who is not watchful can backslide. And we don't believe in one saved and saved forever. We believe the word of the Lord that each new day, we have the responsibility to work out our salvation with fear and trembling. So we have the restrainer seal. And in our discussion, you will find how the restrainer seal can leave a believer and also how a believer can maintain the restrainer seal so that no power of darkness fashion against you shall prosper, so that no weapon of evil, no arrow from any any enclave of darkness against you shall prosper. Are you ready? Let's go together, my brethren. Let's read this portion of the Bible. It will help us to have a very good um, beginning. The book of Ephesians chapter 4. Ephesians chapter 4, verse number 30. I want you to open your Bible with me, please. Ephesians chapter 4, verse number 30. And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. So, what does this seal mean? Some of you may ask, 
Brother Edward, you're talking about the seal, the seal. What does this seal? <laughs> I'm so excited to describe this seal unto us. Are you ready to hear about this seal? Okay. This seal, in a nutshell, this seal is known as the mark of ownership. Hmm. Are you there with me? This seal symbolizes mark of ownership that the Lord owns you, that the Lord owns me. I belong to our Heavenly Father. My kingdom is not of this world. My hope is not in this world. I have given my life to Jesus. I have I have trust in him as my Lord and Savior. He has saved me from the powers of darkness. He has saved me from sin. And for the master of the universe, for the king of kings, to ensure that I have a mark of ownership, that I belong to him, he places his seal on me. Are you following me? He places his seal on me. Let's take it. Uh, uh, let, we'll, we'll come back to that again. You know, I don't know whether some of you are conversant with slavery, slave trade, the transatlantic slaves, the slaves that we are moved from Africa, even to Europe, to the West Indies and the other parts of the world. Okay? So these slaves, usually, when they were purchased by their owners, their owners can decide to have a particular mark of ownership placed on them, inscribed on them, so that wherever they go, if it is perforation of the ear, or any mark on the face or mark on the leg, any part of the body. Wherever that slave goes, they'll say, oh, this slave is related to this particular owner. The owner has this seal. Even if that slave will run away, the owner can track him by the reason of the seal on the slave. You understand? So we are going on a good journey. We are cruising. You know, so our heavenly father, our savior, the Lord Jesus Christ has placed his seal of ownership on you. He has placed his seal of ownership on me after we accepted the work the Lord Jesus did on the cross of Calvary. After we informed him, Lord, today I accept you as my Lord and personal savior. Forgive me my sins change my life and make me what you want me to be. Now the Lord will now say, oh, this person is really serious. This young lady is serious. This man is serious. I have my place of ownership on him. Just imagine when the president of United States of America or the president of the country of your birth or the president of any, just call it any country of the world, places his seal of ownership on an individual. It means that wherever that person goes, that person has, you know, the influence of the president on him or her. And when anybody sees that person, the person will now think about the president of the country where that person has received the seal are you going along with me? So we have our Heavenly Father, who is the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Sovereign Lord, God Almighty. After we give our lives to Him, He places His seal of our ownership on us. And uh, we are now His children, all right? So now, being children of the Most High God, we have confidence that our gracious God is with us all way, even unto the end of the age. And because we have this confidence in him, 
nothing will make us afraid. We believe you have been blessed by this message. Please join us every Friday for our revival prayer meeting and on Sunday for our Bible study. You can also follow us on Facebook at Lovers of Jesus Ministries International. For prayers and can study, please call plus 147054017. You can also visit us on our website www.lkmhi.net. Remain blessed. Jesus is coming soon. Every Christian town proclaim the joyful sound the come